You're so good in Zombieland. <laughs> Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. I said that. Sorry, Albert <laughs> Einstein said that. You're familiar. In his time, Albert Einstein was celebrated as kind of a scientific rock star before there were actual rock stars. Although he certainly had the hair for it. Very vain, little known yeah. fact. This event is our effort to put the spotlight on those whose work will change lives for generations to come. Our first laureate is one such scientist. He went looking for a really big problem to solve and found the key to a condition that touches a billion lives. Not bad for someone who was considered a failure at 39. Mark and I are honored to put the spotlight on our first laureate, Richard Lipton. So this is my lab office. It's a freaking mess, as you can see. Because of my father, who was involved in the early days of the space era, I was exposed to interesting scientific inquiry. The big question in the late 1950s was what would happen to humans when they went into space. So pretty early on, I recognized the idea of medicine, but trying to understand new things that would ultimately be helpful for improving the human condition. Hypertension struck me as a very important clinical problem that very little was known about. There are about a billion people worldwide who have hypertension. It contributes to 17 million deaths uh, around the globe annually. We got the idea that there might be a gene duplication, that one gene was copied in a funny way that caused this disease. When I started talking about this idea, a lot of people were very skeptical that this was a fruitful approach. One of my friends is fond of saying that uh, at age 39, I was a total failure. I had a young family, and if I had not had a family that was unbelievably supportive, my wife was probably braver than I was. She was the person uh, who said, you, know, you just have to do what you think uh, is gonna be uh, right in the end. We concocted an experiment that should definitively show whether there was this duplication, whether it had the structure we thought it would. And there was that moment where the film came out and we saw the result, and it was that, that aha moment where you look at it and you just think, oh, we absolutely nailed this. We actually have a dart on the board. I've never gotten over the thrill of discovering something new about how life works and if it relates to human biology and disease, the more so. These awards make you think about, okay, this is great. How do you top this? <laughs> For finding the molecular causes of high blood pressure. The Breakthrough Prize is awarded to Richard Lipton.